See, I know that a lot of people love to eat Nigeria jollof rice, but this is a game changer for Nigeria jollof rice. Since I started doing this, um, since I started preparing my tomatoes like this to cook my jollof rice, it has been a game changer for me. So today I decided to share with you guys how I prepare my tomatoes before I use it to cook my jollof rice. So on this video, I am going to be sharing with you how I achieve the sweetest, delicious tomatoes that I use to prepare my jollof rice. And I am going to be showing you how I pre-cook my turkey as well because I'm going to be using the turkey stock to cook my jollof rice as well. So on this video, I'm just going to show you guys what and what I do to achieve this delicious taste that bunny that bunny um nigeria taste um sense of uh, jollof rice i don't know there's something about it there's something when you do it this way there's just a game change something about it i know a lot of people do this but i have other things that i add to my own as well just watch this video to the end and maybe you might learn one or two things from here so first of all, so what I do is I wash my tomatoes really, really clean and my bay pepper, I bring out the seed and I clean it properly. My tomatoes, what I do is I press out the seed because I don't like the seed inside. I press out the seed and I wash it. I make sure I wash these tomatoes twice because I don't want this video to be too long. So I just cut that place off. So, um... It's time to wash my onions and chop them into the, the size that I want. After cleaning the tomatoes, now I'll bring out my oven tray and put on this um, foil paper. No, this is not a foil paper, this paper on top. And I had it, I, I spread my onions, my bee pepper, and my tomatoes on top of it. I spread it thoroughly. This is what I do whenever I want another type of taste for my jollof rice. So I'm going to add thyme. I'm going to add in thyme, yes. Then I'm going to add a little bit of salt and rosemary. I'm going to add rosemary. Um, uh, this, yes, this is rosemary. Then I am going to add my um, black pepper. Yes, I always forget. Black pepper. I'm going to add black pepper. Then I'm going to add 
a little bit of olive oil here i'm going to spread the olive oil here around all the tomatoes see if you do it like this and put it in your oven your house will be like mm, it sounds so good it smells so good it's it's as if you are making like um an italian uh food just like the way you i don't know if you have been in any environment where they are preparing italian food this scent is so good god now i'm going to transfer it into my oven and let it this is what i always do whenever i'm cooking and i'm cleaning as well so that whenever I, when i'm done cooking i'm done cleaning at the same time i don't know if that makes sense that is what i always do that's why whenever i'm cooking you always see those towel with me because once there's water then i clean if there's plates i wash so now it's time for me to wash my turkey i forgot to bring out this turkey i forgot to bring it out it did not um it's still very frozen because I, I had an appointment this morning and i forgot to bring out the turkey then i came back and i decided to cook and we need to eat this jollof rice this evening before we sleep before any other thing so i don't have to wait anymore i will just put it on my pot on my pot and put all my ingredients inside and let it cook normally if i want to um, pre-cook my turkey before i don't add water at first i just put all my um, um spice then i had salt and maggi and i let it um cook on its own it bring out the the water as in it's the turkey has water normally it brings us uh, the turkey water but now because i can't wait and i have to cook this very moment so i i had no choice than to add hot water but it it still tastes good it was really really nice but that patient was not there because my lalo and lady this told me that they wanted um, jollof rice and turkey so i had no choice than to do it like this yeah the pot was too small that is a fry pan not a pot so i decided to switch it to my bigger pot so that was all i was doing here so after switching it to my bigger pot then i remember that i have not added onions inside <laughs> god so then i will just freeze the fry pan and put it there then i will go and slice my onions they had my onions inside and cover and let it cook cook totally all this sweetness will go inside the turkey then I will be right back. Okay. Sipata, young don't care, got it, and she 
my tomatoes from the oven and my onions this is what it looks like i did not leave it to bone i just let it um how do i explain this i don't know but i just packed packed it inside um, because it has water i pack it inside um a filter then i brought it out from the filter into my blender now after transferring it to my blender then i'll just wash my fresh pepper and add my fresh pepper to it and blend it then once i blend it i'm going to show you guys how it looks like it looks like a sauce you can use to eat um it, it looks like a cook sauce you can use to eat any um yam any other fish it's already cooked like this but i i, I just want to use it to make jollof rice i don't know if that makes sense because i see a lot of people do this and they use it to eat fish i see other country people do this and it's really really tasty so this is what it looks like now uh, my turkey is ready so this is where this video is going to end the continuation of this video is coming up very soon where i am going to be making the jollof rice don't miss don't miss that video stay tuned stay tuned for the next video that is coming your way so i am going to transfer this turkey into that um filter because i am going to use this turkey stock for the jollof fries that is coming your way on the next video make sure you stay tuned you will see the next video tomorrow okay thank you all for watching i will see you on my next video bye bye much love to you guys no, 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 no.